year, thousands of Kern County residents flocked to Stagecoach or Coachella musical festivals, but a father and son developer team proposing a similar music festival in our own backyard. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores joining us now in the Live Center to tell us why proponents are excited about this venture and, and uh, others having some concerns tonight. Right, Alyssa? Yeah, Tim, this is the propose, uh, proposed venue that we are talking about. It's called Cal Center. And tomorrow, people for and against the venue will go before the Kern County Board of Supervisors to make their case. We uh, bought the ranch in 1985. Uh, we've farmed it since then, but looking for a, a project to do there that we really had a lot of passion for. Daniel and his father, Phil Rudnick, say they have found that project, Cal Center, a music festival venue they want to build on their 255 acres of land at 7th Standard and Interstate 5. It would host 65,000 people over the span of a three-day music festival, and the Rudnicks hope to host three festivals per year, each appealing to a different genre, country, electric dance music, and indie rock. The Rudnicks say their property is close enough to attract festival goers from the Bay Area, L.A., and the Central Coast, but just secluded enough. Probably the primary benefit is that we're away from the cities and we have great transportation infrastructure to get mass Mass, mass gathering of people safely and efficiently in there. However, the venue has its opponents. Some local farmers saying it will disrupt their farming operations and create traffic disruptions. When we looked into it, it didn't look like actually it was really going to interfere with their spraying. They could do everything that they've normally done, except during the three or four days when we're having the festival. They also said, oh, what about the traffic? During the three main days of the festival, during peak hours, there's going to be some road closures in order to, you know, bring people up and around and get them off the Interstate 5 the proper way. They're just going to have to plan around that, actually. The Rudnicks say the overall impact on the local economy, however, is all positive. Uh, we've had the economics department at Cal State study our festival. They expect to have at least $51 million of economic impact to the county per year, not including all the jobs. Tomorrow, Kern County supervisors are expected to vote on the proposal. Last month, the Kern County Planning Commission voted against the idea. But since then, the Rudnicks have scaled back how many festival weekends they would plan to hold. Now, the Rudnicks will go before the Board of Supervisors tomorrow discussing the three-year permit options. Meanwhile, 23ABC did reach out to local farmers who are against this proposal. They were not available for comment today. Reporting from the Live Center, Alyssa Flores, 23ABC.